So today in wave motion, we're going to look at an example. So I've already written this example and we're going to go through this example. So we're going to calculate the wavelength, the speed, the frequency and the amplitude of this example. So the example reads, the distance from the start to the end of the wave train in the diagram is 30 centimeters. And the distance from the cross to the trough is 8 centimeters. The whole wave train moves past the fixed point in 20 seconds. Then question A reads, how many waves are there in this wave train? That's the first question. Question B, calculate the following. Roman numeral 1, wavelength, Roman numeral Loma numero 2, amplitude. Loma numero 3, frequency. Loma numero 4, speed. So I'll start with the first one. Uh, how you can calculate uh, the number of waves. So that's A. So my first question says, how many waves are there in this wave train? So as you can see, this is my diagram. And I know that the definition of wavelength is the minimum distance at which a wave repeats itself. So I'll start counting. So from here to here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six waves. So this is six waves. Then B, Roman numeral one. The question reads, calculate the following wavelength. That's my first question. So I'm supposed to calculate wavelength. Then I know that the distance that the train travels is 30 centimeters. Then I have six waves. So I need to calculate uh, the wavelength. So wavelength, I know that uh, the symbol of wavelength is lambda is equal to so I'll say 30 centimeters divided by the number of waves, which is 6. And this is giving me, so 30 divided by 6. 30 divided by 6 is giving me 5 centimeters. Then since the units of wavelength is meters, I'm going to divide this 5 by 100. So I'll say 5 divided by 100. I'm having 0 0.05 uh, meters. So this is the wavelength. Let us proceed. Let us look at Roman numeral 2, which is the amplitude. So Roman numeral 2, I'm supposed to calculate the amplitude. So the amplitude is the distance from here to here. Then I know that the distance from the trough to the crest is uh, 8 centimeters. So this means the distance from here to here, that's 4 centimeters. So amplitude is uh, 4 centimeters. And I know that amplitude is me measured in meters. So I divide 4 by 100. And that's giving me 0 0.04 meters. Then let us calculate the frequency. So this is Loma numero 3. So frequency is given by the formula number of waves number of waves over time. So my number of waves, I know that I have 6 waves. So 6 divided by the time. The time that the train takes, let us read the question. The whole wave train moves past the fixed point in 20 seconds. So it is 20 seconds. So 20. So 6 divided by 20. That's uh, 0 0.3 hertz. What about Loma numero 3? I'm supposed to calculate speed. So I know that the formula of speed is V is equals to 
frequency multiplied by wavelength. So my frequency is 0 0.3 multiplied by the wavelength is 0 0.05. So my speed is equal to 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.05. It's a 0 0.015 uh, meter per second. So this is how you can calculate this question.